skin is the largest organ of the human body. It acts as a barrier between outside and inside environment. The skin has different thicknesses and textures. The structure of the skin is made up of three layers of, namely, epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Basically, the skin is comprised of two layers that cover a third fatty layer. These three layers differ in function, thickness, and strength. The outer layer is called the epidermis. It is a tough protective layer. It contains many cells which perform different functions. The second layer, located under the epidermis, is called the dermis. Basement membrane separates the epidermis from dermis. Dermis contains nerve endings, blood vessels, sweat glands, and pilosebaceous unit. The pilosebaceous unit is a complex mini-organ consisting of three anatomic components, hair follicle, sebaceous gland, and erector pili muscle. Under these two skin layers is a fatty layer of subcutaneous tissue, known as the subcutis or hypodermis. Epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. It is made of layers of epithelial cells, which include stratum basale, the deepest portion of the epidermis, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, and stratum corneum. The skin under the eyes have thin layer. It contains four layers of epidermal cells excluding stratum lucidum, but soles of the feet and palm have thick skin because it containing five epidermal cells layer. Stratum basale. The basal layer is the innermost layer of the epidermis and contains small round cells called basal cells. The basal cells continually divide and new cells constantly push older ones up toward the surface of the skin, where they are eventually shed. Merkel cells, which are tactile cells of neuroectodermal origin, are also located in the basal layer of the epidermis. The basal cell layer contains cells called melanocytes. Melanocytes contain sphere organelles called melanosomes. Chemical reaction occur inside the melanosomes turns amino acid tyrosine into melanin. Melanosomes moves towards keratinocytes by melanocytes long projection. Inside the keratinocytes a melanosome formed cap around cell nucleus. Melanin and melanosomes absorb ultraviolet energy from sun, reducing ultraviolet radiation that reaches the nucleus to protect DNA mutation. Type and amount of melanin and number of melanosome. Determine the color of skin. Stratum spinosum. 8 to 10. Cell layers, also known as the prickle cell layer, contains irregular polyhedral cells with cytoplasmic processes, sometimes called spines, that extend outward and contact neighboring cells by desmosomes. The squamous cell layer also contains cells called Langerhans cells. These cells attach themselves to antigens that invade damaged skin and alert the immune system to their presence. Stratum granulosum. 3 to 5 cell layers contains diamond-shaped cells with keratohulin granules and lamellar granules. Keratohulin granules contain keratin precursors that eventually aggregate cross-link and form bundles. The lamellar granules contain the glycolipids that get secreted to the surface of the cells and function as a glue, keeping the cells stuck together. Stratum lucidum. 2 to 3 cell layers, present in thicker skin found in the palms and soles. Stratum corneum. 20 to 30 cell layers is the uppermost layer, made up of keratin and horny scales made up of dead keratinocytes, known as nucleate squamous cells. Within this layer, the dead keratinocytes secrete defensins which are part of our first immune defense. Function of epidermis. Basal cells. Continually makes new skin cells. These new cells replace the approximately 40,000 old skin cells that your body sheds every day. You have new skin every 30 days. Merkel cells. These cells are very close to the nerve endings that receive the sensation of touch. Melanocytes. Melanocytes have melanosomes in which production of melanin take place. The amount of melanin determines the color of your skin, hair and eyes. People who make more melanin have darker skin and may tan more quickly. Langerhin cells. Langerhin cells in the epidermis are part of the body's immune system. They help fight off germs and infections. The dermis. The dermis is located beneath the epidermis and is the thickest of the three layers of the skin, 1.5 to 4 millimeters thick, making up approximately 90% of the thickness of the skin. This layer contains most of the skin's specialized cells and structures, including nerve endings, 
The dermis layer also contains pain and touch receptors that transmit sensations of pain, itch, pressure and information regarding temperature to the brain for interpretation. If necessary, shivering, involuntary contraction and relaxation of muscles is triggered generating body heat. Blood vessels. The blood vessels supply nutrients and oxygen to the skin and take away cell waste and cell products. The blood vessels also transport the vitamin D produced in the skin back to the rest of the body. Sweat glands. The average person has about 3 million sweat glands. Sweat glands are classified according to two types. Apocrine glands are specialized sweat glands that can be found only in the armpits and pubic region. These glands secrete a milky sweat that encourages the growth of the bacteria responsible for body odor. Eccrine glands are the true sweat glands. Found over the entire body, these glands regulate body temperature by bringing water via the pores to the surface of the skin, where it evaporates and reduces skin temperature. Hair follicles. The hair follicle is a tube-shaped sheath that surrounds the part of the hair that is under the skin and nourishes the hair. Sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands are attached to hair follicles and can be found everywhere on the body except for the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. These glands secrete oil that helps keep the skin smooth and supple. The oil also helps keep skin waterproof and protects against an overgrowth of bacteria, the subcutis. The subcutis is the innermost layer of the skin and consists of a network of fat and collagen cells. The subcutis is also known as the hypodermis. The function of hypodermis as insulator, conserving the body's heat, and as a shock absorber, protecting the inner organs. It also stores fat as an energy reserve for the body. The blood vessels, nerves, lymph vessels, and hair follicles also cross through this layer. The thickness of the subcutis layer varies throughout the body and from person to person.